dogs we're doing it we're doing the thing so welcome everybody beard laws podcast episode 187 this is me i'm matt then we got toby over here that's toby and that's logan and that's brandon and that's zach i keep saying producer zach but he doesn't he does a little producing but he's not like producer producer he's kind of co-host at this point because we got producer jace who's crushing out yeah. clips so thanks producer jace and and zach and everybody and thank you boys we're doing the best dog breeds tonight. That sounds a little dirty. We're going to draft the best dog breeds tonight. But what I need everybody to do is to listen because we didn't set the ground rules. We didn't set the ground rules before. Nope. So uh, let's throw this out here. Do we do purebreds? Any dogs? Toby, I'm sure you've thought about this maybe a little bit. I have put zero thought into it. My list is purebreds. I, I would say, well, here's the thing. I, I don't mind doing mixes. Right, like yeah. you've got you've got your golden doodles and your labradoodles and shit yeah. like that, right? Like I'm I'm fine with doing mixes, okay. but if it's a pure like Heinz 57 mix, your only option can be mutt, and that covers it all. And whoever would were to be the one that picked it, then that's their pick is mutt, and it covers it covers all the like two to three strains and one yeah. thing that doesn't look like any particular breed in per at all. You know what I mean? Like, for, for you guys understand team. when I say mutt, yeah. you're thinking like you, you've seen yeah. movies where you're just like There's a like, general yeah. dog, like a like a like a say a a, a would you say earlier a golden poodle or golden doodle? Well, a golden and, doodle, I wouldn't call a mutt. No, no, but I'm saying like if a golden a doodle bread. bred with a bullshit, and then they became something. Yeah, and then they be, they become a mutt. mutt. Once you get so many different breeds into it, if it hasn't already been genetically bred that way to make something kind of like the way the boxer was made or something like that then and that's Not they called it a boxer because they intentionally bred these together to make it that one dog if it doesn't already have its own specific name it's just a fucking mud there's so many jokes that we just passed by and i love every single i'm excited for this all right so shout out to the 80 something almost 90 people that voted it was pretty close if you didn't vote then what you missed out best dog breeds was uh number one Second was mustaches. Then it was uh, states and childhood toys. Didn't get a lot of love this week, but which is crazy because childhood toys was a very close second last week, crazy. last cycle. Crazy. You know what else is crazy? I don't know. Us. But you guys want to do the uh, the wheel spin? Yeah, do the wheel spin. I would like to. I would like to, I could. Did, uh, to pick fourth again. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Brandon. I would like to, if I could, just take a moment um, to say something. I. Can't share it publicly, but I do have some good news I'll be sharing in the coming weeks. Yeah. And, uh, one of the things I like to do when I, I've got good news is to take a moment to just sit back and uh, hit, hit, hit some playing in here on this end. But uh, really like to sit back and take in food. I, I celebrate with food. The food guy, the food judge, eats food and likes to celebrate with it as well. I don't drink much. I don't partake in herbal refreshments and to other folks on the show, but I do eat lots of food. And one of the things I like to make sure I get lots of is fiber. Fiber is important to you. It's to me. It's the doctor says it's important. And, you know, a good source of fiber, a delicious blend of two things, crispy bran flakes and sweet, crunchy oat clusters. But you know what is also good with those two things? The best fruit known to man. That's right. It's raisins. And I like to have a bowl of this every night or so. And, uh, why is this the bit we're doing? <laughs> this is great. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Doesn't pour it like in the commercial, but God damn it, it's going to work. <laughs> Why are we doing this bit? <laughs> it's <laughs> crunchy, just like your mother, Zach. <laughs> I hope you choke on that very yeah, first bite. I how, hope uh, you choke on it. You don't understand how accurate that is. <laughs> you know what's funny is I got five fillings put in just this morning, and this fucking hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to just yeet that over his shoulder so fucking bad. You know what he you he guys know what he's got? He's got the smile from what was it, the Santa Claus 2? <laughs> where 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 Santa Claus and he takes over, he's like, ho ho ho, ha ha ha. That's that's Brandon's la intentional life. Is, ha ha ha. It's yeah. that same exact Santa Claus 2 toy Santa laugh that he's got. I love it. That was good. Not like the that. fillings either. Oh man, my mouth is awful. <laughs> Are you only eating it because your mouth is numb and you can't taste it now? No, it's Honey, not dumb. Don't. That's the thing. It was this morning. I'm gonna wait for it to get really soggy and then just eat it. Honey, don't I mean, you we, put that fucking. I think curse we can. That, I think we can stop this rumor, right, Brandon? 
The wife is not pregnant. She is not. It's me, actually. It's uh... <laughs> hey, you said you weren't going to say anything. <laughs> All right. Everybody well, gets coal. <laughs> hey, Toby. <laughs> hey, Toby, there's something in the private chat. You want to read it? Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll read it off. I'd appreciate it. This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other podcasts like ours, but probably better, much check out the link in the episode notes or on the webcam uh, on the website, deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Again, that's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. You'll probably find some podcasts that are just like ours, only a lot better. Yeah, I, what you read exactly. That's my fault. I, I put much a better much instead of much better. Yeah, I was like better much. I'm gonna just fucking read that. <laughs> I don't know if that was right with that. Better that, much. Something like that. No, nope, that the was good me. thing is none of us here are surprised. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's hard. Chatting is hard, and well, no, it's not hard. Spin in this wheel. Let's do it. Spin the wheel. So, does anybody uh, want the one pick besides me? Because I am ready. I if I get it, I'm going to gift it to Matthew. You can't do that. I've. Uh, I, I would like to say something. Yeah, do the thing. Um, I have an announcement to make myself. Mm -hmm. It's at this point in time, before we even spin the wheel, I'd like to remind everybody on the show that uh, if you have an opinion of your favorite dog breed or a dog breed that you would like to see picked, please keep that opinion to yourself. Everybody here in the that's currently on the podcast can see your comments, and we'd like you to keep them to yourselves to not give anybody an unfair disadvantage. Thank you very much, and we appreciate you being here. Hell yeah. And if you're producer Jace, keep all opinions to yourself all the time. <laughs> all right. Let's, with all that being said, let's see who gets the number one pick. Any guesses? Matt. I'm going to get it. better not be you, Matt, after our conversation. That's all I'm saying. I thought you were just spinning it, and I just saw it land on me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess Brandon or Toby. Matt. Oh, oh, what? No. What? what? Wow. All right. That's you. He's a big dog guy. Big dog lover with number one pick. Yeah, Logan's going to be like... Uh, main Logan's going to say Tabby. I go with the Tabby. Fucking dogs, Logan. God Shetland. damn it. If Shetland. anything, he coaches Shetland. for a school that has a mascot that's a dog, so he's got that going. That's true, I does. Hey. The number two spot... Zach. I don't even have to move anything. Yet. Wow. And remember, with this being said, with Logan and Zach going back to back, we do have something this week that is brand new, thanks to these guys drafting last week, that is the viewer veto. We each get one viewer veto that we can use at any point, and then you, the viewers, we put the poll. Do we allow or not allow or something there? If you vote yes, it's gone, if whatever, and then if you vote no, it stays. So you do have that power by us having the power, so. I have a power. Jay, Jay says you didn't shuffle the wheel before you spun it. Probably not. Hey, Jay. Oh, well. Shut your heart. Mistakes happen. It's true. I usually do three I times. I said better but... much. All right. I think we can get past this. Yep. In the three spot. I is. mean, it is still a random wheel. So, I mean, it's not like it's been in the order because the order was Brandon, Toby, me, something, something. So. All right. This Who's is gonna... hilarious. <laughs> wow. Okay. Fair enough. Who's going to draft in the Logan spot, the four spot? It's Toby. Do me proud, kid. Brandon J. Bringing up the rear with the back to back to back 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 picks. All right. There we go. Back shots? Back shots and back pits and back zits and steroids. Yeah. All right. So the ground rules have been established. All right. We can pretty much put anything in there. And um, I don't know. You guys ready to do this? Fuck yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. I had some I had some of my teammates, the kids, they watched the show, unfortunately. And I said, back sits and steroids, right? That's that's funny. They're like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Like, that was so stupid. Called up, yeah, called called up by her own students. <laughs> yeah. Well, did, well did done, you... students. If you're watching today, I applaud you. <laughs> and then I made them run. No, you didn't. No, you no, didn't. I didn't. No, you I didn't. laughed. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So do you know? Did they give you any pointers on dogs? Because no, uh, no, they did not. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty good with my number one pick. Okay. No, I, th I think at this point in time they just revel in his failure. They, everybody does. Eh, I mean, <laughs> you got to be good at something if it's being that. I mean, I made an entire TikTok account out of it, man. <laughs> like exactly. All right, with the number one pick, Logan is on the clock. All right, 
Uh, there's not a whole lot to say other than that everyone has one or has had one or wants one. Um, and Mommy? they're smart. They're good dogs. A Labrador Retriever. Solid. I mean, I don't want one, but that's a great I don't want you know one. I mean. I've never had one. So there goes your everyone statement already. I think it's a good. I, there's you, a, you two don't matter to me. Oh, you guys heard it. Motherfucker. <laughs> I, in, in his defense, I don't know if it's everywhere or maybe here, but there is just about everybody and their brother has a Labrador retriever where we're from mm -hmm. um, yeah. for duck hunting and everything else. Yeah. So they are they are they are intelligent, they are, they're loyal. Wait, they're you have wonderful one of dogs? I don't. They are everywhere. Oh, thought you had one. I don't. Okay, he doesn't have that. One. That being said, you want to know what my pick is? Uh, yeah, you're in the two spot. Let's do the thing. It's the golden retriever. Mm -hmm. You have one of those. Yes, I knew it was a some kind of retriever. Your yep. dogs did retrieving. Yep. Uh, fun fact about the Labrador retriever. You want to hear it? Do we have a choice? Uh, they're from Newfoundland. Oh. They're not from Labrador. They are from Newfoundland. Okay. Stolen. From the more Labrador. you know, the more you know. Because, there, but there is also a dog named in Newfoundland that is from Newfoundland, though. Where's the golden retriever from? Your mom. Ah, it's you missed true. your you missed your calling there, buddy. It should have been from the end of the rainbow. It's There's not fucking Irish. There's it's, several it's from the land of fucking not... cliched fucking white families. That's where it's from. <laughs> <sighs> Moving along. Moving along with the three spot, Toby. This one's for you, buddy. What do you have to say? <laughs> Guess what, I'm... guys? Go There's ahead. a really great breed of dog there's a dog that uh you know that i that we almost had a couple of these there's some people on the show that do have a couple of these and i'm pretty sad about it i'm going with the great dane because you have to pick a dog that has great in its name great dane it's the number three pick <laughs> what that's a solid pick tell Take, me i'm wrong takes after its owner i mean that's a solid pick that's a solid pick solid pick I'll pick. Okay. All right. Ooh, a Wait, we, right, shush, 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 don't say it. Logan, try to say that. A labracadabrador. Ooh, he got me. Okay. And drafting in the Logan spot with the number four and a guy that's probably a little couple of shades of red, not 50 shades of red or gray, but because of me, go. Pig. <laughs> I'm going to go with the English bulldog. Ooh, Ooh, okay. Yeah. Solid. Good pick. Solid. Okay. English Bulldog off the board. They are, they are absolutely, I mean, they, they do have their faults. They do have some health issues, but they're very great with, with children. They're great with families. They're great with other dogs and they're just fucking goddamn adorable. And I don't know if there's ever been uh, a dog breed that's been used as a mascot more than the English Bulldog. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that's uh, that's the mascot of the team that Logan did, and I was debating if I, I thought maybe he'd slide that in there, but maybe about it. maybe if it was a different round or something. But yep. either way, just real quick before Brandon picks the this is round one, right here. Brandon's going to bring up Zerir with his dog pick. You ready? Yep, I am ready. Um, uh, first of all, who knew the top two picks were going to be the most obvious when it was Logan and Zach picking? But congratulations, you did pick. I think the chat got to him. Bite me. Two solid yeah, picks. Just have a golden retriever. That's all. Did somebody say bite me? It sounded like Logan. I know it's, he's got that that same kind of bite his mother does. But uh, <laughs> so uh, what I would what I would say here is again, family dog, very very loving dog, a warm dog, not the smartest, but definitely a dog that uh, if you've ever had one of these, you know they're as loyal and as loving as you'll find, and that's a boxer. Yeah, uh, that's that's solid. So just let you know, I, the boxer was almost my choice, yeah. but I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can slip it by in round two. I, I I've, not, get it round I've two. never had a boxer, but every friend I've had that has had a boxer, I've like fallen in love with the dog. Like, can I just take it home? It's so beautiful. Well, we are, we used to breed boxers for about 15 years. So yeah, that's all that we owned. We at one point in time, we had nine in the house. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. With a pig, they're go they're goofy little dogs, but man, they they will abs they will love unconditionally harder than almost any other dog. Mm -hmm. All right. With that being said, let's go, Logan or Zach. 
let's see who won this round. And then we're going to go with myself, just to mix it up. Maybe Logan and Zach can uh, pull out a round one victory with the two popular dogs at uh, around the Google, Toby and Brandon. All right, let's see who won this round. What do you guys think? Mm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that one. Honestly, I'm gonna give that round to uh, to Brandon. But I'm I mean, awesome. yeah. I don't think the... he loses here because they're all. It was all very good picks. Yeah, yeah. This is this is one of those situations where it's the first round. I think everybody's got a pretty solid pick. I, I don't see really anybody running away with it. No, nope. no. Nope. All right, the poll is live. It's pre. <laughs> it's 29, 24, 24, 24 until it just shifted again. I'll bring up here if it's easier for you. All right. And like I said, it's everybody had a pretty solid pick. I mean, it, it makes sense for it to be like that. Yep. All right. So we'll let that trickle out right now. Logan and Zach are tied with Toby at 30%. Beard Laws and the Great Dane 17. I think there's a lot of people mad at me about that one. Uh, Brand, oh, the, the, look at this. We're at 25 votes. Now it's 28, 28, 24, 20. So gonna be close Logan, we'll, uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of help here myself as somebody with a somewhat patchy beard um wait until uh you have more testosterone you're 17 mm -hmm. your beard will come at, with age patience and proper i wasn't able to start growing mine until i was about 22 so he ain't i didn't even i don't think i even picked up a razor to shave until i was 22 almost 23 yeah but then you had to shave for a very long time yes and then Logan, honestly, your your beard didn't really pop till your thirties, right? Like yeah. a good solid one. Yeah, I, I always had to shave because I didn't want to look like I like a complete scumbag. Like I always had some, it just patchy. About thirty two, all of a sudden, like it's almost like I woke up and I was like, "Whoa, shit. my balls dropped! My balls dropped!" <laughs> this it's is cool. You lost your virginity. <laughs> this around everybody's time. everybody's different. Yep. Some right. people are like Grimlock, who has a hormone deficiency. I don't know if I should make a joke about that or not. So next, no, next, let's so move on. Next, he, he's, he's the baby Huey of the group. So, all right. With that being said, moving along, twenty-five votes hasn't moved. Round one winner by the people in the comments is Logan or Zach and Toby, twenty-eight percent. Beard laws twenty-four and Brandon twenty. That shows you how close. Round yeah, one it's, that that does not surprise me at all. Brandon, we're being honest, it's good. Are you ready to start round two? Let's do it. No, we forgot to say though, just because I think we're all a little bit nervous. Happy May the Fourth, if anybody's yeah. into Star Wars and all that dorky stuff. We forgot to say that. So Happy May the Fourth and all of that Happy Star Warsy stuff. Uh, and I'm shout happy out that to you said it that way and not the cliche way that everybody says it that makes memes and shit like that. So thank you. Yeah, I'm a little bit different. And and shout out to um, Beard Gang Actual. Uh, his real name was Zach. I almost said chat. Uh, <laughs> it's their wedding anniversary. Four years on the fourth. <laughs> They were married on May 4th, so uh, shout out to them. All right. It's an important day, of course, May 4th, Star Wars. We all remember when the uh, Death Star blew up planet Vulcan. Uh, my choice here <laughs> is Jesus Christ. the German Shepherd. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. solid. That wasn't an ick to the German Shepherd pick. That was just still on your comment. No, that was an ick to the German Shepherd pick. I hate German Shepherds. Not a fan? Can't stand them. Can't stand them. They're overbred. I feel bad for those dogs. Yeah. I am getting crucified. An original, like a, a purebred, like original German Shepherd before Americans got a hold of them and started overbreeding the shit out of them um, is a beautiful dog. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely gorgeous dog. And it's really well, it's behavior, it's, you know, it's mannerisms, it's, it's behavior profile. Everything is perfect. But the way that they are now, fuck no, you couldn't pay me to own one of those things. Yeah, and a lot of those dogs too. They need a purpose. They need, you know what I mean. Whether maybe they're on a farm, maybe they, they can't just be sit around and be a house dog. You know, definitely not. There, we should do a, a list of dogs you don't want to see people own in a city. You know. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That would. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Like you know how many people try to get like because we're obviously we live in a very cold climate. So many people try to get like Malamutes or Huskies and stuff up here, and it's like, dude, you you live in a walk up. No yard. Why? Why do you have? Why do you have that? And you're taking big dumps in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This has nothing to do with big dumps, but Toby, you're up. Um. So <laughs> something you get. Something you guys are most likely going to notice um, is uh, based on the majority of my picks. Um, I am a huge fan of 
um, of the large breed or the working um, class breeds. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with, um, I'm torn between two because I'm afraid one of them's going to get grabbed and this breed is severely underappreciated. And you know what? I'm going to go with this one. It, it's severely underappreciated and it has probably the worst rap of any dog ever that does not deserve it. I am going to go with the Pitbull Terrier. Oh, Pitbull Terrier? Yeah, your standard Pitbull. Yeah, it, it's you. Oh, I never realized that they're, yeah, they're, yeah, I never realized they're considered yeah. a terrier. Yep. Huh. Yeah, no, I think uh, I, they were on my list. I think they are a beautiful dog, like you kind of said, and they just get a bad rap because occasionally people own them that are shitty dog owners and they mm -hmm. get a bad rap. So, no, great. They pick. are gorgeous, though. They I, are. Had, I had a pit bull growing up. I love them. I they, love are, them. they are some of the most loyal and loving <laughs> dog breed that you can find. Yeah. absolutely great around kids great around family they are the true definition of blame the blame the deed not the breed because they it, shitty fucking owners make shitty pit bulls yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have you almost have to force a pit bull to fucking uh, be aggressive towards humans you almost have to force it to be that way yeah all right well said let's keep it moving um and, and let's be fun. It's fun to say pities, right? Yeah. I love okay. pities. <laughs> and the only thing that I hate about um, pit bulls, honestly, is that there's a rapper named after one, and that really hurt my opinion on them. But it's not It's not the dog. And, and he made a song about the worst cinnamon whiskey on the face of the planet, Fireball. That makes yeah. me almost throw he up. Catchy up. fucking tune, but shitty fucking liquor. Yeah. yeah. Fireball. Fair. All right. I've stalled enough. My turn at the three pick. I'm going to go with this dog because my dog is half of this dog. He's he, So I'm going to go with, is it the new Finland? Is that how you say it? Or is it Newfoundland? Newfoundland. Because new, new Newfoundland. Newfoundland. I know that sometimes they're called new Finnies or something, but uh, that, I guess new that's Finnies. Yeah, you can, you can, it's new Finland. So you know what's go. funny is I've heard, and I know you said it two ways there, Toby. I heard, I heard Zach say uh, new Finland earlier, and that's the way I've always heard it pronounced. But yep. I had a friend who was a follower from there and she said, no, it's actually Newfoundland or Newfoundland. Hmm. Like, fuck okay but yeah yep y'all are close to it than i am so you should know but yeah yep. I, I went with that uh, obviously my dog is awesome Newfies, fucking so. dog. another giant breed I, I i you're never gonna hear me say anything that about a giant breed not once well maybe no just with large breeds not giant breeds there's some can't think of a single yeah giant <laughs> my brain is just going <laughs> what is going on not those breeds but in the number two spot producer zach i think he's ready i am um that doesn't sound ready well <laughs> see toby he's like I, me he's torn between like two right now he's like i, I am because there's like i i believe in this pick that i have marked number two on my list but toby's in my head about some comments that he made earlier mm. um well here's I, here's something that here's something to ease your mind a little bit okay you have logan picking after you so the chance of somebody true. picking up your, one of your other ones that's that true. you didn't choose is slim to fucking know. So I've seen Logan's list. So, so, next so, or some so shit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chalk on this one, but I do really believe in it. And I'm gonna go with the French bulldog. Okay. Ugh. See, <laughs> I. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Whoop! There it is. Uh, for anybody that's wondering what the bracket is looking like, kind of looks like this. So Brandon went with the German Shepherd, first pick in the second round. Toby went with the Pitbull. I went with the Newfoundland, Newfoundland, New Finney. Uh, and producer Zach, or Zach just went with the French Bulldog. And Logan's going to follow up with Labrador Retriever with a pick. Don't get me wrong. Out of like all the toy breeds, I love the French Bulldog. It's just, it's a, it's again, it's another one of these dogs that has been misbred over and over yes. and over and overbred. And it's got so many health problems because of it. I, do I like the dog? Yes, I've I've never met a French bulldog I disliked, but it's just, if I remember, I'll put I'll in drop a link in our in our private chat. I actually have a Reddit article saved in my uh, on my Reddit profile that is all about the current uh, good, healthy, ethical breeders, like all the things they're doing to actually make the French bulldog a more sustainable dog breed. Yeah, um, like you know, like basically reversing the years of like the shit you were saying, where it's like you know bad genetics and making it be an unhealthy crappy dog 
Mm-hmm. Um, French Bulldogs and, well, and English Bulldogs, too. They're both doing a lot. Ethical Breed is doing a lot to try to fix that right now. If you guys really want to have a, a fun, like a fun, interesting read through, um, just, just type in current dog breeds versus their original breed profiles. Yeah. And you'll see like picture differences. Like, like I was talking about with the German Shepherd. Now they've got these really low sloped backs with like legs that extend far too back where the original ones are almost upright and just the differences that you see between the way that Americans have made dogs versus the way that they were before they were introduced to America is amazing. Same thing with their people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bunch of fucking yeah, have a over here. Here. <laughs> We're really good at it. All right. Speaking of really good at it, Logan's up. Speaking of really good at it, honestly, uh, these dogs are really good at a lot of things, mainly peanut um, butter on balls. <laughs> there it is. I was not going to pick that dog. That dog did me dirty. That dog picked um, Logan. Yeah. <laughs> these, these, there are movies. There are books. There are fucking real races. Free Willy's a, a whale. Based oh. on these dogs. <laughs> I am talking none other than the strongest, most determined, most loyal, most greatest dog, and it should have been my number one pick. But I kind of knew it was go; it would go this way. I am talking about the Siberian Husky. Oh. These things are unstoppable. That wasn't what I was expecting out of your mouth. Unstoppable. I like it. You don't see any other dogs doing the Iditarod. So actually there's lots of other dogs. Actually, okay, I know, but they're dogs not like they're not like in legend. They're not legends of the Iditarod. Like you know what I'm saying. Shut up. I don't actually please elaborate. All right, calm calm down there, Balto. He was a fucking was wolf out there, right? Balto. Listen, one word. Balto. When did Cuba go Balto to was a fucking wolf. Just to put that out there. He wasn't a husky. <laughs> just I'm throwing that out there. Logan has diphtheria. It's okay. It's not his Oh, fault. listen. Huskies is my pick. Fire right, what's your next it's... pick now? No, no. We got to put the poll. No, no, no. no. We, got, we got voting to do. Uh, Husky, not a, not a bad choice. It, I actually can't. Like the first of all, the majority of, the, the majority of videos that you're going to see across your animal feeds, you can't, you can't deny the humor that goes with a Husky throwing a temper tantrum like a little toddler and throwing mm-hmm. their howl out there and the energy that they have. Amazing dogs. Would I ever own one? Fuck no. You know why? Because I ain't got that much time to de-shed a damn husky. Right. Ooh. Right. Holy well, shit. It's like, like having a like whole Zach, second dog. Like mm-hmm. Zach and Matt were saying, there's a lot of them around here. If they have room to run and oh, out, yeah. outside, we probably wouldn't have this issue, right? But, I mean, I, I could never own one. I own half an acre and a little yard. And I'm not be doing the de-shedding shit. part. Yeah, and full of shit. But if you, like, <laughs> if you had land where a husky can run and be itself. Yeah, like and that's, I mean, it's the week. same for every dog, almost every dog, but obviously, you know, yeah, like that's, you know, yeah. the Siberian Husky definitely needs earth. Yeah. All right. That's a great pick. And Toby, 58% of the people loved your pities. Pities so is far. a good one. I'm really disappointed that I didn't put pities on my list. Yeah. All right. Yeah, With that being said, and just to let everybody know I am including when I say pit bulls, because so few people know is, I, listen, and I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence by any means, but I believe that so few people know about the different variants of pit bulls and their breed characteristics. I'm including all of them. I'm including Staffordshire Terriers. I'm including the American Staffordshire Terrier. I'm including all of those in that pit bull breed because I don't think anybody else is thinking about trying to separate or make those a separate breed from these. I'm kind of including the pit bull breed. The, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And by the way, I would also like to point out there's no such thing as a difference between a red nose pit and a blue pit or any of that. They're all pit bulls. Their their nose color or coat does not make them any different of a pit bull than any other pit bull. Makes sense. So don't be suckered into buying a red nose pit because it's got a fucking pink nose. That just tells you that somebody's selling it like that, that means that they've misbred it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of people <clears> like what right. does Toby know? It's like, did you actually breed dogs or something? God. What do you think? <laughs> All right, Logan. Okay. I'm very, I'm very. If you guys can't tell, I'm very passionate about this subject. No, not nah, couldn't tell. All right, uh, my next uh, dog 
has done many things. It's kind of like in movies, it is like I already took Golden Retriever. You can't pick Air Bud. No. <laughs> <laughs> in movies, uh, how some of these have not won Best Supporting Actors or Actresses, I do not know. Dunstan was a uh, chimpanzee. You they can't are pick a him. sleek. I'm going from lab to husky to sleek. These dogs are beautiful. Uh, they also, I think, sometimes get a bad rap. And last but not least, Snoop Dogg fucking turned into one in a video. Mm. I'm going with a Doberman. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Very okay. misunderstood dog. Fucking dog. Very misunderstood dog. dog. Again, shitty owners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you yep. if you very, meet very misunderstood dogs, awesome. what what an amazing fucking breed that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. And one of the very few that is part of that type of class, I guess you could say that guard or working class that hasn't been misbred, like overbred. Like they're still pure is 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 the day that they came introduced to the states. And how many movies have they been been the guards of like a warehouse or a fucking dude? Guard? Fucking, I, I'm they're sure everybody fantastic. remembers yeah. Fletch. Like you all remember Fletch? Look, <laughs> what was it? Look, crying baby. <laughs> they're, they're Sorry, fan, they're fantastic actors. I didn't realize that they're barking dogs. Like that they have like I'm just googling how to spell it and like all of the articles that I'm seeing are like how do I get my Doberman to stop barking so much? There is there because those are the same people that probably have caged up or chained up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's the people that put them on a giant chain out in the fucking front yard and never bring them inside. Yeah, Yeah. with the with the big fucking tall pinch collars on. Yeah, or like the big tall leather collars with the studs on them. Yeah, like they own their own Harley. Yeah, <laughs> or they put the shot collars on them, like hey, stop barking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you don't you like being chained up. <laughs> All right. Also, I'm not sure if anybody remember. Do you guys remember the original Resident Evil movie? Yep. They used it wasn't CGI. They used actual fucking dogs with prosthetic fucking makeup on for the zombie dogs in that. That's awesome. They were, they were, yeah, they were actual Dobermans, trained Dobermans. It was fucking cool. I got to see the whole making of like how they put the prosthetics on the animals and the dogs just sat there like me that's pretty wild we just would keep feeding it treats <laughs> speaking of feeding treats uh zach's up i am up just let me fact not gonna check feed, something real quick not gonna feed him treats but the other day he did buy me a bag of pretzels um that were pretty pretty freaking fantastic i i almost bought a lot of them today at the store but i'm like you know what no i i'm not gonna do that um i am gonna go uh it may be a reach but it's a breed that's near and dear to my heart um i'm gonna go with the britney spears the britney spaniel nice yeah. that was the little, little that, one uh the smoky hunters irish rose was my dog growing up and i loved rosie dearly she was a liver spotted britney and i love her oh okay I wasn't sure what it was, but I, I looked it up. Mm-hmm. Yep, I've seen some of them. Yep, big big bird dog. Dad was a bird hunter back in the day, and she was a good pup. Hmm. All right, good pick. Kind of sad we haven't had to use the viewer veto yet, but we're moving along. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, and I'm stalling. So uh, I'll go on a big screen so I can stall less. I'm going to go with the dog. I'm going to go with another big dog. It was in one of my favorite movies ever. I, I want to get this before Logan just continues to pick every dog that's in a movie. Um, you guys remember the dog in the Sandlot? Oh, oh absolutely. Get on its face? The Bull Mastiff. Fuck! Yeah. Yep. It's a good one. It's a good dog. Good dog. Great dog. Love big baseball. Dumps. That Bull Mastiff was in the running to uh, take a spot in my top five after boxers got taken from me. Hmm. Couldn't take boxers. I'm more of a... Uh, Boxer brief guy. I mean, I'm a boxer brief kind of guy. So. <laughs> Sorry, I bet you Toby's a briefs guy. Like, I bet you he goes full full army surplus briefs still. What 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 space in your mind does this take up? <laughs> You're imagining what the underwear. space where I remember the birthdays of my relatives. <laughs> huh? Because I forget them. Okay. Okay. I don't remember my my, Sorry, my underwear is more important than his mother's birthday. Absolutely, it is. What is it? Awesome. At the moment, it is. Awesome. What is it, Toby? Tell me. What is it, Toby? Uh, so, are they the weird beige briefs that you got from the army? No. <laughs> no. If you want to know, I head on over to the link in his yeah, bio. I, yeah, get his link. I wear, I wear, I wear silkies, or I wear, um, or I wear boxer briefs. There we go. Angel's about to go off in the chat. I can feel it. Well, that's on you. That's All right. On you. So, All right, speaking of that, Toby's up. 
So my next pick was going to be very close to what was just picked. And I don't know if it would cross over and kind of like, because they're similar, but not identical, but Means just as similar and not identical as like a Staffordshire Terrier and a, and a pit bull. So, um, shit, shit. Shih tzu? I, d- I did so good no, that no, I got you shut your fucking whore mouth. And that, no. Um, <sighs> we got I'm going to go with the Irish wolfhound. Oh, okay. Nice. Not going to lie to you. That, it was between those two. Solid pick. Solid pick. Just a little dog. A little Can guy. I make a guess? It's just tiny. What's yeah. up? So, so I fucking think fucking ne- come next week. We're going to find that a lot of folks don't have these breeds in mind by the name. And so I think you're going to see a lot of the top ranked ones do better. That's just my thought. Yeah. And Toby typically reminds people that (coughs) if you don't know, do your goddamn homework and just Google some dog breeds. And then educate. Yeah. Educate yourself like Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. Irish wolfhounds scare the fuck out of me. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty big. They're big, Why? and they've got like this, like they've got this very. Oh man, like I feel like if it wasn't hyenas, Irish wolfhounds would have been pledged to Scar and the Lion King. Like they're just scary to me. I don't know why they got this fucked up look on their face. Big and fuzzy with giant fucking teeth. They, yeah. So they when you think of Irish wolfhound, it's almost like the dog that you would imagine when you're talking about uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And the wolves yeah. at the end. Yep. Yep. Oh, hey, well, we're, Tyler Grady hasn't. He's been absent lately, but he came in just in. Yep. He's That's always said he's. Dog. He's always wanted an Irish wolfhound. Look at that. He's like Beetlejuice. All right, Brandon. <laughs> right after his root dog is dead. Brandon, you're up. Let's round out round three. Do the thing. You know, I like rain, and I like clear days. But when it's rainy, I really enjoy clouds, and I like my dogs like I like my clouds, big and fluffy. So I'm definitely going to go with the Great Pyrenees. Best oh, intro. Oh, I love oh. these fucking dog names that I can't spell. I love that you guys are really working him having to do that. That's a good looking dog. It's a good looking dog. It's a good dog. All right. It's the kind of dog you can like have lay on its side, and you can just lay right in its midsection, and they'd be okay because they've got so much fluff. It's a mm-hmm. bunch of floof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a whole bunch of floof. So we're going to go ahead, put the poll up. Let's show the viewers again what was voted in. Uh, this is just for round three. Logan took the Doberman, and Zach took Britney Spears. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the Britney. What? What was? It? All kidding aside, what was it? Britney? What? Like? No, it's just it's called. Britney, it's, 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 it's they no, call it the Britney, Spaniel. but it's it's a Britney Spaniel. Yeah. Is okay, essentially the, no, the long name. Up. The long name I give was its AKC name. It was Smoky. It was Irish Hunter or Smoky Hunters Irish Rose was a was her AKC name. How many people you think are so creative that they call their Britney dog Britney? I bet you it's got to be at least what seventy percent. My, mine's name was Rosie. That's what we call it. About sure. as about it's got to be as about as many people that call their uh, bulldog Spike. Hey, shout out, Michelle. Too early for Hey, Michelle. Show. Newest member. Appreciate you. And um, I took the Bull Mastiff. Toby took the Irish Wolfhound. And Brandon took the Great... What the hell does that say? Pyrenees. Great Pyrenees. I couldn't skip from back here. All right. Oh, come on. There we go. What are you doing? All right. What do we got here? Uh, Toby. 43% of the people love the Irish Wolfhound or they love Toby. Or maybe both. And I would love to use a veto, but I made a cool little thing for it. We haven't got to use it yet. So you hopefully we use a veto. A veto on the oh, vote. No, no, I said I said we haven't been able to yet. Oh, yeah. There's been, down, no, there's been no need to. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I, I made like the cool graphic. It, it's not cool, it's mediocre at best. I, I forgot and then did it real quick, but uh He's typing the newest member into the chat is why he needs that up there. All right, Brandon, whenever you're ready, Toby wins uh, by the votes. Doesn't really win anything except for bragging rights. 40% well done. Second place was Brandon, 24%. Zach and Logan, 19%. And myself, not a lot of love for the Bull Mastiff or the movie Sandlot, 15%. So I love the Bull Mastiff, so that's fine. This dog breeds very close to me, not in the same way that dogs are close to Logan, but 
<laughs> it's very close to me. We brought up Lion King, and and the, instead of hyenas, it would be another another dog breed that could scare the hell out of Zach. Well, mm -hmm. this dog breed could play Simba or Mufasa if there were a movie of the Lion King that were done with just dogs. They look a little lion-like, and I love them because, like me, they got neck rolls. I'm going with the Chow Chow. Nice. And it's fun to say. Tis. Look at that face. <laughs> Solid choice. I do enjoy, the, of all the weeks that I've done this show, I do enjoy Googling your picks for this one the most. I mean, they are fun to see. Uh, Toby, at what point did you know what I was picking? I, actually, you went opposite of what I thought you were going to pick. You okay. went much smaller of, of yeah. the breed that I was thinking of. Hmm. Okay. We've said breed a lot. <laughs> I did. All right. Yeah, so here's the thing. My next choice is is a choice between three mastiffs. Mm -hmm. Um, I just don't know which one. I've got one that I really like, um, but it's very similar. It's it's way too similar to the bull mastiff. Like I'm almost wanting just to say this that one and the bull mastiff just need to be the same. Um I'm going to go with the French Mastiff. Ooh. The French yeah, Mastiff, for anybody that doesn't know, it's also called the Dog uh, Dog Day Bourjou. It is the Bourjou. dog from Turner and Hooch. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. The okay. French Mastiff. Definitely different dog. I'm going to I'm gonna put this up uh, on the screen. Oh, I got to stop this one. Okay, but we'll do it real quick just so anybody that doesn't know can look at this one and you'll be like oh yeah there's no smooch its face that is the dog de bordeaux no one writes french Doge de bordeaux. De bordeaux. De bordeaux. Yeah. but that's why i said french mastiff instead of yeah oh, that's a good pick i bet you that dog like instead of saying oh man that dog shit was as big as my thumb like oh man that dog shit a toonie the other day <laughs> just that's just canadian french yeah, whatever. I, I don't know what the fuck a French coin is called. Anyway, okay. From... I'm gonna I'm gonna propose something. Whoa, you're already. Um, and we can we can uh, we can initiate it now, or we or or we can wait until the next time. Um, if if a chat member mentions the name of something that can be drafted that has not been that that is an immediate disqualification for being drafted throughout Ooh. the rest of the draft yeah then they ruin it for everybody and then the whole chat yep. can get mad at them and not us so yeah so okay. if we all agree to that then my vote is that tibetan mastiff is completely off the table from this okay. point forward I'm fine damn it although yeah. Although I will say, and I would agree. like to point out that However, was the dog Michelle, that I thought Brandon was going to pick. However, Michelle, too early him. for this shit. Just, just signed, logged on. I understand that. that. I understand okay. that. Okay. And thank you, Michelle. Now people are going to just start putting dog names they don't want us to breathe though, or pick them. No, they're yeah, going to they're 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 pick the dumbest it. shit. <laughs> Keep typing it so that I lose hope. No, we still, we still kindly ask that you do not blurt out any names of for this, like this show. No. Do, please do not blurt out any names of dogs. If we were doing the mustaches, don't bl don't blurt out somebody that's got a mustache. If we're doing movies, don't blurt out a movie. We still kindly ask that you don't. But if it does happen, then that the name of that whatever was just named is immediately disqualified from being uh, able to be selected. Yeah, and if some people are just doing it to be funny, then it's at our discretion if we still want to pick them. But all right, yeah, no, that's a good rule. Um, I like that because you could, yeah. All right, I like it. Hey, and Honey seriously, God. Grim, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry, they're just trolling. We me. got it. You're witty. You're you're fucking sassy. You're you're hip and cool and going against the grain. Shut the fuck up. Got him. Got him. Listen. Uh, all right. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go because I've stalled enough. I forgot it was even your pick. I just looked Is over it Thursday. At he's been he's been he's been like no 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 keep going keep going keep going. I know I didn't I didn't know what to do on this pick. So I'm gonna not overthink it. I'm gonna go Basset Hound. Fucking hey, I don't want to spell that either. It's not that hard. B a s s e t t Hound. M o m. 
the old, the old really? bassett. And if anything, my mom is more of like a let's see. Jesus, oh, you stop. might not want to say uh, that. You might not want to say she's that. at work. She doesn't. She's not. Work. <laughs> Brandon's just immediately up. like, hey, just, hey, 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 Zach. I don't know how long you've been married, but I've been married long enough to know that if your mother matters to you, if you get in an argument with your wife, she's going to bring that up the next time you're around your mom. You know what your son said about you? She said you look like a fucking chow chow. She'll only she'll <laughs> only know because we'll make sure that Tori fucking tells her. <laughs> well played. I, I don't I don't think the breed will be picked. It's a, it's an obscure breed, but this is the breed that I think of when I think my mom has put in the private chat. Don't look at it until after the show. Okay. Oh, well, either way, you're up. So why don't you pick a breed that's gonna get picked? Uh, I am gonna go. I'm not gonna lie, I clicked it. <laughs> am I right though? You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm surprised it hasn't been picked yet. I want to go with the mutt. Fucker! Come on. God damn it. Oh I think most of us might have that towards the end there. Yeah, I knew it was going to. Mm. I knew it was going to. Man, I wish it was a bad Son pick. Bitch. Can't go wrong with a mutt, man. I yeah, can't. I loved my mutt more than anything in the world. Yep. Yep. Look, that's what that's a picture of she, that's a picture of my mom as a dog breeds <laughs> in the private chat. Oh, Look at Jason. Jason telling <laughs> Tori, if you don't, if you don't tell his mom, I'll <laughs> tell him. Oh, oh, yeah, I gotta click on that. Yeah, it just opens a link. That's a weird thing. Because I ain't telling <laughs> ah, shit. Come on. shit. The fuck? Logan's so scared. <laughs> Logan's so scared to click random links. He thinks he's gonna get a virus or something weird's gonna pop. Which I do appreciate because you're. It's you're not on. my computer. It's okay. It's okay. The opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's round out. Round number four with a Logan pick. Ah, oh, I had this all planned out. God damn it! I was gonna go with the mutt. Uh, my dog was a mutt, and he was my best friend. So instead, I'm gonna go with uh, I think an underrated dog because all they do is hang out. Like they all, if, if there's one, there's a thousand of them, and they all hang out at fucking fire halls and in movies. I'm going with the Dalmatian. Dudes it. can ride on fire trucks. And they're, they're and they're great dogs. They are very, very kind. They're nice. They're a little wiry, but whatever. They also Dalmatians are assholes. They're wicked. They dogs. are fucking <laughs> assholes. You they're can't even find a dog breeder that will tell you that a Dalmatian is like a good family. Any they're Dalmatian horrible. I've ever run into has been like wicked cool, ladies. And which is not a lot. I, I'm not like fucking. I go searching. Ladies for and fucking gentlemen, Dalmatians. on behalf of the rest of the Beard Lot Podcast, I would like to step in and interrupt Kiss this diatribe ass. to mention that the only Dalmatian Logan has ever encountered was Sparky the dog. Thank you very much. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just, I just did a thing. Um, no, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the private chat. Never mind. I mean, this is an uh, announcement. I forgot that we were live for a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the poll up, and uh, there we go. Don't get me wrong. Like like Tori said, if if you are, like, if if you're just a, what, what I would call a single married couple, meaning couple with no kids, or you're single by yourself, a Dalmatian is a great dog. They are a, they are a one person or a or a two person dog only. They are not good around kids. It is very difficult to train them to be good around kids. They're not good around other people that are not their owners for the most part. It takes a lot to get it out of them not to be overly protective of their owner. Like they're difficult dogs to work with. Logan, you have picked a solid. If there was like a starting five lineup of movie dogs. Mm -hmm. so it's the only it's way I know dogs. Pretty, Butts and those guys. It's pretty friggin' <laughs> good. Guys. I don't want you to fuck it up for round five when we get there here in a minute. So uh just to give everybody a quick recap, we're 16 votes in. Never gonna believe this, but Toby has 50% of those votes with the French Mastiff. I mean, who doesn't love Hooch? Let's be honest. Who doesn't love Hooch? It's fun to I say. I totally it's heard Cooch, but same. Yeah, we love. Uh, yeah, and I tell you what, man. He, like, if you look at a French Mastiff puppy and a Basset Hound uh, puppy, it's it's difficult to make a, a choice if you're talking about the puppies. Like, yeah. do those Basset Hounds? <laughs> like, no. Yeah. All right, Toby wins round four. Logan, last pick. Sometimes the last pick is the hardest. But you're up. So, so means now. 
obviously I'm not a huge dog guy. Uh, I just looked up what kind of dog is Benji because I'm sticking with my fucking movie thing. Uh, Benji is a is a mix mainly. She's a, you know, she's a mutt. She's, she's a, a mutt. mutt. Benji's yep. a mutt uh, spaniel type whatever. Uh, Lassie is a collie. Collies are almost non-existent in this in my world. Uh, Lassie was a pretty dog and apparently could fucking save children. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go. Fuck this. Hold on, let me think. I'll let you get away with Babe the Pig. (laughs) (laughs) Please say it. I I own, I own pigs. They're very similar to dogs. Baram you. (laughs) Baram you. Logan's Which I just saw that movie for the very first time this past year, and you know what? I waited too long to watch that movie. Yeah, yes, you absolutely did. I, I absolutely did. I absolutely did. That movie was. I had that shit on VHS. God, that movie was amazing. It really was. I'm gonna go home and and eat a salad and watch it and cry in my living room. I guess we we've got to give we got to give him time to do a Google search for top 100 dogs of all time. <laughs> I've already been on it. Yeah, he's said that the whole time. Yeah. Uh, he is actively on a Google search result right now, scrolling through okay. thumbnails of dogs. No, like I, I got all these here. Like he's like, I can't pick pug now. I'll, I'll go with a. Uh, That's a Mogwai from the movie Gremlins. Oh, he's is he I'm, having a stroke? I'm trying, no, I'm trying to. He's fuck coming. It, I'm he's coming. With, no, yo, know, God, no, this is not that face. <laughs> No, <laughs> let's see that face. Yeah. Nope, not happening. Because <laughs> <Well, laughs> she's always inanimate. The lights are off. She's smarter than that. I'll go with a um, what the fuck are they called? Saint Bernard. I'll go with another movie dog. Saint Bernard. Do you, you go with I, Be- Beethoven? I'm going with Beethoven. Beethoven. I personally I was could, thinking Cujo. I could never own a Saint Bernard for two reasons. Number one, they're bigger than me, and number two, they fuck the drool in my they house fuck, would not yeah. work. But they they are amazing they are animals. Such they, they really good are. dogs. They are they are great awesome. dogs. Very very friendly. Let's be honest. Most of these dogs that we selected are taller than you. Yeah, and that's I not mean, a knock on you being super yeah. short. There's some big ass dogs in this yeah. channel. Yeah, between, between the Great Dane and the Irish Wolfhound, I don't I don't think you're getting bigger than that on the on the list. But yeah. fuck. <laughs> there's some there's some biggies on here. Dad Chocolate Labs one sixty and stands taller than my four year old. So yeah. I mean, right. our our great Dane puppies are turning 13 weeks on Thursday, and they're over 20 inches at the shoulders and weigh close to 40 pounds. Great oh, Dane, what a great dog! What a fucking great <laughs> you know dog! What? Bring it up again, name. asshole. You know what? That's my fault. I'll I'll take the hit on that one. My Speaking wife is like hit. dead asleep right now. She's not even paying attention anymore. Man, so I'm I'm between two. I, I saw I I got your little pun there, Matt. Thank you. I'm between two dogs that I've never owned, but I've had outstanding interactions with at different points in my life. One was the dog that I always talked to when I was taking a shower in college because we had a window in my shower in college for some reason. What was her name? All right. And uh, her, her name was Yoshi. Uh, <clears throat> shout out, Yoshi. I hope you're still out there, babe. Um, Delphal. And then the that, other one You know was, that dog's uh, dead now, right? Yeah. Oh, I fucking I know it is. <laughs> it lived in college housing. Okay, it definitely was dead. It's that beer doing well. Um, oh man, or it's this dog named Mickey that I met on my honeymoon. That was just absolutely awesome. Was Mickey so fine? Mickey was so fine, but I've never held on to a dog and been so uncomfortable and sad at the same time as I was in this one because. How many women the, say that about you? The story, <laughs> the story that the dog's owner was telling me about how he was going to bed and breakfast was heart wrenching. Pick a fucking dog. Uh, <laughs> I'll stick with the theme of big dogs. And I'll go Bernie's Mountain Dog. Okay. Okay, that's a great pick. It's off my list now. <clears throat> Motherfucker! All right, brown play those. Hmm. Bernie. Bernie. You probably just put Burmese MTN for that. Well, it's Burmese. I always thought it was yeah, Burmese, Burmese too, as in Burma, but it's yeah, not. Bernie's, Burmese. Burmese MTN, you'd be fine doing that. Bernie's Mound Dog actually fits on two lines. So, Ooh. oh wow, okay, all right. Yeah, I, 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 I do. I went with Mickey Tori. I went with Mickey. Mickey, he's so fun. All right, yep. I'm gonna uh, since Pugs off the list because everybody loves Pugs. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna also go with Mountain Dog. 
if it gets ruled out by you guys, they're different dogs. And this fucking dog is amazing. If I was going to go with a mountain dog, it would be this one. It's the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Mm. Did you say you're you're taking pugs off the list? They got said in the chat. It was a joke because it was said in the oh, chat. Yeah. Pugs was not on the list. Oh, it's like a short-haired Bernese Mountain Dog. Yeah, they're cool looking, right? What the hell? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. They are awesome dogs. They call them Swissies. Swissies. Mm -hmm. Stop it. They're really nice. I've never, I did Stop it. Dog you fucking start tearing up. He's I swear to God, if you guys ever want to see a bunch of full-grown men with beards just just become children. The dog, yeah, puppy, and you know I'm putting puppies. Swissies on the fucking bracket. Yep. Swissies. Swissies. If you, if you guys in the chat. Uh, yeah. Swissy, a handsome looking dog right there. All right, let's show the pick here. Let's read. Such a good boy. <laughs> just such a good boy. And they were brought over the Alps by Julius Caesar's legion. It's just like it's, it's just like a short haired Bernice. That's it. Yep. Yeah, such a good boy. If you talk to your dogs like that, I'm sorry, I have no respect. Who doesn't talk to their dogs like that? If you don't no, talk to your dogs like yeah. that, you're a fucking sociopath. Well, Vern no. is a sociopath, Matthew. So uh, I have two now, and I don't talk to either of them. But either way, it's not I, about me talking I to my dog. I never talk to my dog like that. Yeah, I look at my dog. Like, dog. He's such a good girl. All right, Ooh, that was hot. <laughs> yeah, the dogs. All like, right, I am going to. Fuck, I'm going to move away from the mastiff. Mm. We're going big and snowy in round five. Oop, sorry, wrong button. Shit. Yeah. Um. These are big snow dogs in round five. Don't fuck it up, Toby. I'm debating between an extremely large dog or, or a very small dog right now. And Ooh. I love them both. Now you got to go snowy mountain dog round five. That's what we're doing. Okay. Okay. I'll go with an, uh, another Iditarod champion, not to mention uh, the world record sled dog, um, sled pulling champion breed. And, um, I will go with the Alaskan Malamute. Oh my God, I was thinking that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> no, swear to God, that was going to be my last pick. Mm -hmm. Oh, the way you said it, I, I thought that was a joke and I laughed. Um, oh my God. I am not joking. I've have, I have stood side. Now, granted, we already know I'm not the tallest man ever at five foot six, but I have stood next to one of these things that's just sitting down and its head came up to like my chest. And it was about that wide. It was the largest dog's head I've ever seen in my entire life. And his name was Bear, aptly named. But Jesus, what a good boy. <laughs> Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Speaking of good boys. That's the best boy right there. Oh, he's a good boy. I'll give him some Such a good boy. You know what's funny is earlier. Mustache today, though. Son of a wow. bitch. My, my, my whole face was numb because I got three fillings and two fillings, and I couldn't feel my tongue. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> so you just gave him, so you gave him, this is a little slippy sloppy nine thousand when he got home. Oh my god, sixty nine hundred. No, I wasn't. I wasn't at my house. I was like, um. So I would choose. Can I see the list real quick? Yeah, hundred percent. Right. I just clicked down into my screen like it did anything. A nod to the queen who is no longer with us. Fucker. I'm going to go with the Corgi. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Mm, okay. Oop, no, I did Maybe that. got back. Who All doesn't right. like those little short leg fuckers? Yeah, short <laughs> they got sweaters on. All right. So, last poll is out. Who won round five? Feel free to go ahead and vote. And while we're doing this, let's throw Can in Can I some say what I, what I was torn between? Yeah. Between the Alaskan Malamute, the Beagle. Yep. I've owned three beagles, and I will tell you this. If you ever have an idea in your head, you know, I'm going to go look at a beagle puppy. I don't, I don't, we're not going to get one. We're just going to go look. There's no such thing as just going to look at a beagle you puppy. You see a beagle puppy, you're going home with a goddamn beagle puppy. That's just how it works. They've got to be the most adorable damn puppy I've ever seen in my life. And then they never shut the fuck up. Yeah, they up. don't. And that is the reason why I went with the Malamute. <laughs> I've heard three beagles and all of them 
The only one that never really did was uh, Buddy, the last one that we have that now uh, belong, uh, belongs to Rossington Gardner, uh, who took Hell him yeah. with yep. him uh, at the last meetup. All right. So early big lead is Brandon with his pick, 50% of the votes. Nobody apparently likes Swissies because I have zero percent feeling like Logan and Zach on that one. You, you guys can you guys they, should have vetoed me. They probably don't know what it is and they weren't paying attention like, when you yeah, put it on the screen. Swissies Swissies this vote doesn't matter. They gotta look it up. They're my they're my favorite dog that I just learned existed. Yes. It's an yep. it's a name recognition thing, though. It is too. All right. Um, let's go over a couple quick uh we're at that we're at our time limit. Let's go over a couple quick breeds. That didn't make it. A couple of people said that they were shocked a border collie didn't make it. In mm. their defense, Logan said border collie, but then went St. Bernard. So I said yep. collie, not border collie. Is there a correct. difference? Yeah, border yes. collie. Yes. Oh, big difference. Border collies are your are your smaller. They're black and white. Usually have a have a black coat with a white so chest. McKenzie from Blue, and they it. are often used at airports to keep the birds off the runways. Amazing dogs, hurting so dogs. What, are awesome. So what happens when they're on the runway? Are they just impervious? No, 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 no. They they run. They rush all the birds off of like the the grass edges of the runways. Okay. Yep. A lot of good kayaking in, in the town know. of Cali too. Just to let you know. So in Australia, I almost also said uh, Rhodesian Ridgeback. I I yeah. Great fucking I like dog. Rhodesians too. My buddy's got a actually sponsor of the, the member uh, subscriber to the show has a Chris Folsom has a Rhodesian. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. It's smarter than him. Well, fair enough. I will. I've say never I'm had a beagle. I've never had a beagle, beagle trip Wisconsin. over its own ears, but I've definitely seen plenty of of basset hounds trip over their own ears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, an English sheepdog was was one of oh, the yeah. googled ones um, that didn't make it. Uh, poodles was one that I wasn't going to pick, but yeah, very popular with some people. Poodle, yeah. uh, one dog that I a poodle over over a standard or a or a toy poodle. One, one, uh, I've only seen one in my life an Australian Shepherd. Really cool. Oh, smart yeah. Tori yeah. just called those out in the chat. Yep. 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 They're, so get, they're gaining in popularity, too. They're, they're really booming up in popularity. Well, they're a good size. Yep. Yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're a decent medium sized dog. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rottweiler. Yeah. I'm surprised yep. Rots didn't get picked. Yeah. No. Um, I, I'm I love, I love Rots. Rots, but I have a very bad taste in my mouth because all but maybe one Rottweiler that I've ever met had a horrible fucking temperament because mm -hmm. of their owners and the way that they were trained. Yep. Is it rots that have something to do with like their jaw and their teeth too? Like they're fucking like how their teeth and their jaw goes, like it, they get sore, like they have mouth pain all the time. And that's why they're fucking dicks or am I thinking something else? I haven't heard of that. Honestly. No, I, I think you're talking about was, Brandon. Maybe. <laughs> you did have some teeth work done. I mean, I did hear fucking dicks. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> short haired pointers are amazing fucking dogs to, yep. to, to Tony's fucking comment there yep oh, i thought we were talking about george st pierre yeah <laughs> german german short hair pointers are great dogs but fucking christ the amount of energy those dogs have holy shit yeah. thought about um maybe a bloodhound because i've blood never gig. met a bloodhound and i oh they're awesome dogs I mean, but again if you, if, you, if you don't like if you don't like a bang if you don't like a baying fucking husky or or a beagle you're certainly not going to want a bloodhound oh, are, they, are they allowed to or any hound like no you don't want a foxhound which essentially is just a, a larger version of a beagle like that's that's all they are is just long-legged yeah. beagles yep my uh, uh what i was the, torn between the hounds are amazing dogs what i was torn between with the bernie's mountain dog uh was the shiba inu mm. that the meme the meme, the meme. Yep. The doge 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 coin fucking <laughs> yeah then the only other things out of my list were blue healers and i had irish setters on my list irish setters and more uh, another great dog um my neighbors I would have also had huge ones. english springer spaniels amazing mm -hmm. hunting dogs mm -hmm. they got that gorgeous uh what they call the liver and white uh uh spotting yeah yeah i think that was solid that was looking, a good one. Looking Sorry. forward to it. Uh, hopefully, if you guys are around next Thursday, come back. Well, uh, well, you guys vote on every single matchup. There's going to be some really tough ones for you to decide. Yeah, I think. I think this one's going to be a very like. First of all, I would. I would have to. I would venture to say the majority of our viewers are are dog lovers. Looks like. Um, it. I mean, I don't trust people that don't that don't like dogs personally i just don't like people are like no I, I can't stand dogs okay well we we will never fucking be friends 
I, I will never trust somebody that does not like dogs at all. Unless they had some sort of traumatic experience as a child. I don't fucking trust somebody that doesn't that doesn't like dogs. But just for them to have to choose one one breed against another is going to be a difficult fucking matchup, regardless of what it is. Yeah, good luck to all of you that have <laughs> to do that. And uh, if you happen to be watching on any other platform besides YouTube, next Thursday, you can only vote on YouTube. So make sure you go over to the Beard Laws YouTube so you can vote and make sure you fill out a bracket. It's going to be on the, the link description that's everywhere for, for the Beard Laws brand. And you can download the bracket. It's a PDF fillable. Super easy. Send it back. We had a whole bunch of people download it last week. Never sent them in. So uh, you get a chance to win a $20 gift card to Copper John's. And if you don't want any beard products, there's all sorts of stuff for the ladies and, and people without beards. And there's even merch. And there's all probably a couple of these Finlay Copper John hats. Maybe left. I don't really know. It is pretty nice looking. But that's all we got. We'll see you next Thursday. But if you want to, we'll be here at Triple T next Tuesday. Rumor has it Eubin's back. He went golfing, got super drunk. Probably still has a job, but nobody knows. Come in and find out next week. That's all that why Eubin wasn't there yesterday. He got drunk at golf or work. I don't, I don't really uh, know. He was, he was out with the bosses uh, playing golf. And yesterday was Wednesday, so it was two days ago. Oh, two days. And don't forget, people, if, there, if there's any of the dogs that we've selected today that you do not recognize, please do yourselves the favor of going and checking out these dogs. Of course, like Tori said, they're all good boys and girls, so you want to know what they are anyway. And if you don't, and you didn't do the due diligence of checking out what kind of dog they are or what they are or what they're pedigrees are or behavior traits or anything like that at least looking up a picture of them before next thursday then don't vote when it comes time for those dogs and remember when producer zach says it's not about the dog it's about who wins in a fight that is not correct no that's not i'm not going to put that joke out this okay week. you heard it here something I said. you heard it I here promise. you heard it here look toby. it's the one toby. time that it would toby. be really look bad for him to say look at me toby yeah until he shows up in a michael Vick look jersey at me, toby oh I promise you. What the? No, I'm just going to bring in a copy of Madden 04. Bye. <laughs> On that note, we're out of here.